Hi friends, welcome to Horario. So I am Abhinanth, I am dealing with chemistry. Okay, from this class onwards, we are dealing with 8th standard chemistry. Okay, we are moving on to our first chapter that is properties of matter. So, properties of matter, we have to focus on properties of matter, before that we need to know what is matter, ok. So, for understanding easily, you can uh, consider matter as the substances or materials that you have seen in your surroundings. So, have a look into your surroundings, what all are the substances you are able to see, ok. Well, here I have an image for you, ok, it shows a number of substances and materials ok let us try to list down them. So, in this image we have a instrument box, there is a pencil and there is a balloon And there we can see a spectacle and there is also a glass with water ok. So, we have instrument box, pencil, balloon, spectacle, glass and water. Now tell me how this pencil is made, inside the pencil there is a graphite lead and it is covered with a wood finishing. Then the balloon, the balloon is made by filling air in, in the balloon ok. So, the pencil is made up of graphite and wood and the balloon is filled with the air. So, these all are substances and materials we are uh, usually able to see ok. So, uh, I think I am sure you have learned about the three states of substances in your previous classes which are them do you remember ok they are solid, liquid and gas. Ok, all we, we need to classify all these materials based on their physical state ok. You know uh, that all these materials are diverse in their nature, they look different, they behave different, why? Why this difference? Because they exist in different physical states. So, let us classify them. So, the three states of substances are solid, liquid and gas. First one is instrument box, in which category instrument box belongs to? It belongs to solid. Then pencil the pencil is belongs to solid and air, air belongs to gas, then water, water belongs to liquid ok. These are the materials and their physical state ok. Till now we are not yet defined matter ok, we are moving on to defining the matter. For that I have an image for you. So, have a look into this image ok. You can see in a glass tumbler with water. So, we are dipping a stone into this glass tumbler. You have to observe what is happening to the water level inside this glass tumbler ok. So, this is the glass tumbler and we have three fourth of the glass tumbler filled with water. 
okay the up to the water level the entire space inside the tumbler is occupied by water and to this we are dipping the stone okay okay the stone is dipped into the water then the stone needs some space to occupy inside the tumbler okay so the stone will take the space which was initially occupied by the water then the water goes to upward that's why the the water which was initially here moves to upward that's why the water level inside the tumbler increased okay and now the question is why the stone needs a space do you have any idea okay i will explain because stone is a solid substance it has a certain mass mass means the amount of substance present in the stone so it needs certain amount of space to occupy and that amount the measure of that space is called volume of the stone okay i hope you will understood then now now we have seen that the stone has mass and it needs space to occupy okay so the stone has mass and it needs space to occupy the, hence we can call stone as a matter which means matter is anything that needs space to occupy and has mass then we can say that thing as a matter now if you want to uh, determine whether something is a, something is matter or not you have to check whether that thing has mass and whether that thing needs space to occupy when you need to know if it has mass and it needs space to occupy you can declare that thing as a matter okay so now we need to know we are going to check whether air is a matter or not so for that i have two simple experiments okay now we have to determine whether air is a matter or not for that we need to know whether the air has mass and whether it needs space or not okay so i am showing you an image looking to this image here we have a uh, we have a meter scale and two balloons are fixed at both ends of the meter scale these balloons are identical balloons with the same size same shape and same amount of air is filled inside the balloon okay and the meter scale is hanged with a string at the center it aligned horizontally because both the ends weighs equally okay now i am going to release the air inside one of the balloons what will happen the meter scale will inclined downward because the balloon with air weighs more because uh, both the balloons are weighs equal and now one balloon weighs more why because inside the balloon there is air so air has weight which which ultimately states that air has mass any substance if it has weight if it also has mass so we have we have known that air has certain mass so first condition is satisfied now we have to check whether it needs space or not for occupying for i have a for that i have an another image for you and in this image you can see a big glass tumbler it, three fourth of the glass tumbler is filled with water and we are uh, immersing a empty glass invertedly into this tumbler okay okay look at this picture whether the bottom of the glass uh, whether the water enter into the bottom of the glass or not see the water cannot enter into the glass why because initially before dipping into the water the glass contains air inside it the entire space inside the glass is filled with air and then with that air we are 
dipping the glass invertedly because of the presence of the air the water can't enter into the glass which ultimately means air also needs space to occupy so the second condition is also satisfied we have seen that air has mass and air needs space to occupy hence we can call air as a matter well now you have a clear idea about matter hereafter we can move on to properties of matter so solid liquid gas these three are the three physical states of matter and let us analyze the properties of these substances about their mass about their volume we can analyze about their shape first of all we are going to analyze the properties of solids about the mass of solid solids have mass and then about the volume of solids solids have a definite volume then its shape solids have a permanent shape you have seen substances like uh, rubik's cube pencil pen and stone etc all of them has a definite shape that's it then about liquids liquids have a mass because certain amount of substance all liquids contain certain amount of substances hence it has mass but they lacks definite volume similarly they do not have a permanent shape because liquids acquire the shape of the container where it placed if you uh, uh, if you place a liquid substance inside a cylindrical container it will acquire the shape of the container if you uh, place the uh, liquid substance inside a circular container it will acquire the shape of a circle so it doesn't have a permanent shape then about gaseous substances they have mass but they lack definite volume and they do not have a definite shape gaseous substance easily spread in air because they do not have a definite volume and permanent shape you can see if we filled air into a balloon the air has the shape of that balloon if you fill air into a uh, pillow the air will have the shape of that pillow which means it doesn't have a permanent shape so these are the properties of solids liquids and gas okay solids have mass definite volume and permanent shape liquids have mass but it lacks permanent shape and definite volume gaseous substance has mass but it doesn't have a definite volume and permanent shape so in this today's class we have learned about what is matter and the properties of matter we have found substances and the physical states of substances we have defined matter do you remember what is matter matter is anything Uh, which needs space to occupy and has mass never forget this definition okay then we have seen uh, the properties of matter about their mass their volume and their shape okay so we will have more about mat matter and its properties in the coming classes till then bye